All right, this is a little walkthrough of a smart kragerator that I've been working on. Uh, so this system uses a Raspberry Pi running an interface that I've written in Qt uh, and uses flow meters and a DH2, DH22 temperature sensor. Uh, so once a start or once a pour starts, um, the camera kicks on as you can see and it starts running uh, facial detection. Uh, eventually it'll be facial recognition, um, but that isn't working quite yet. Uh, so here for now I'll just manually set this to my name. Um, but eventually that will be automatic. Uh, so here you can see that we're coming up on the end of the pour. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so here you got, you got a full beer. Um, it will keep track of uh, the pour. And so now if I actually go into the log, I can see this most recent pour. Um, and I can actually go through the pictures that were recorded of that pour. And I could manually change the name if I needed to. Uh, I can also go to the users and I could go to my account and see how much that I owe uh, now that I've added that extra beer. So this whole system is running off of a Raspberry Pi, uh, which I've got kind of Velcroed to the back of the kegerator. I've got a, a USB hub that powers everything and a GPIO breakout board um, that goes to a 10-pin ribbon cable that runs inside the cabinet. Inside the cabinet, we have two flow sensors that are actually in line on both of the taps, uh, as well as the uh, DH22 temperature sensor and a fan that helps keep everything circulating. Um, and then actually now that we uh, chart temperature and humidity over time, you can see the spike here at the end of the temperature and the humidity, um, representing that the door was opened. Uh, so the next things that I'm working on, um, there's going to be a new UI that's coming out. Uh, I'm going to do a better mount for the camera. Um, I'm eventually going to use weight sensors underneath the kegs and hopefully a CA2, CO2 tank to measure uh, the volume a little bit more accurately than just by how much has been flowed through. I'm going to switch to a no IR camera, uh, which will help with the low light situations, uh, as well as use some IR illumination to help with the facial recognition. Um, and eventually all the source will be public um, so everybody else can start hacking on it. Thank you.